Okay guys, welcome to the third episode of Lucian Action or Lucian Action. Okay. Okay, so to, so today we're gonna do some stewed chicken. So right now we have some as as you know some brown sugar. We have some salt and black pepper, taco seasoning, onion um onions, garlic, ginger, chili, potatoes, chicken, coriander, scallions basil oil some water you know the barn pepper sauce those are some the secret ingredient don't tell sweet chili sweet chili and also to add some some extra flair some extra flavor some extra arc so we have some red wine some fairly cheap red wine it kind of elevates this to a little bit okay okay so time to put on my GoPro okay Okay, and it's time, time for us to begin. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with sauteing our, our onions, our carrots, our ginger, our garlic, our chili. Okay, then we add our chicken to that and then we remove it, we deglaze, then we add it back in. But you guys will see, just stay, stay close. Okay, so gotta wait for that to get hot start to warm up okay okay that should be good and now oil okay that's good eggs are popping up you know it's time to add in your onions okay. All right. okay, add that in We're going to add in our ginger, our garlic, and our chili. Fill it down. We're building flavor layer by layer. Layer by layer, we're building our flavors. You can listen to the sounds, smells, everything. This can indicate a lot when you're cooking. Okay, now we're gonna add our chicken in. Okay, gonna add that in too. We're gonna saute it in. We're gonna put some color on that. We're gonna leave it a little while. Just caramelize a bit. The cap, you need the caramelization. Okay, man. Okay. And that flavor. Think about that Maillard reaction, Maillard reaction. And then you start browning it. And those sugars start denaturing. Change the chemical structure, change the flavor, change the accent. Okay, you see time to brown up a little bit. That's all you want. So you can just leave it a little more. I like to use meats like the legs, the thigh. I don't really like using breasts and stuff too much to make stews and that kind of stuff because it has less fat and less of the bone and bone marrow, which adds even more flavor to the dish. Okay. You can see it's time to burn up. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna empty this into our heat. Okay, add this into our bowl. Okay, we're gonna come back to it soon. Very soon, we're gonna come back to it. Okay, now, we need to melt it. Okay, then more oil. Okay, and to that oil, we add some sugar, some brown sugar to be specific. It's brown sugar because it has a little bit more oil acid, so. And first, you, you do, if it's too hot, you can just lower the, the heat a bit. Okay, because you need to control your fire for this low and slow. Okay, so add the sugar in. Maybe this should be enough. You don't want too much sugar. Sometimes, when people are making caramel, they may play around with it too much, and then if it hasn't fully caramelized, 
they will de um, rearrange the sugar crystals and cause it to, um, I think of the Chinese name, Tianjin, crystallize. Okay, so you have to leave it, move it around, move the pan around. It doesn't really matter because if you're going to do a full caramel, no matter how much you move it around or whatnot, it will still caramelize. But if you're not sure what you're doing, you can just leave it and just slowly move it around, move the pan. Okay, you just have to start foaming. Okay, you start to see like it starts to foam a bit. That's when you know it's almost done when it's close to being cooked, being ready. Okay, so you can see how it is slowly starting to change the structure, change how it is. That's the caramelizer, but you see the structure has changed. It's no longer sugar crystals. You can see what's going on, but you don't want it to burn. You need to be very careful not to be able to control your heat. Okay, you can see very nice like the bubble and all that stuff. Now you can add the rest back in. Maybe, I guess what I added was not enough, enough caramel. So I'm just going to add a little bit more, a little more to this side to get enough caramelization on our, on our chicken. Not caramel enough for my liking. A little more color. Let's look at this. Is it done? And if your sugar happens to start to crystallize, just use your wooden spoon or whatever and just knock it down, break it down a bit. Okay. Then do a bit in the hat, keep the fire. See? Get it working a bit more. Keep time to change. That'll do it. Caramelize. Okay, so it's time to change here. The corners, you just start from the corners, so you need to be careful it doesn't, it doesn't burn. Okay, you can see it. Okay, you can see it's time to come, come together. You can smell it. See the texture has changed completely. No longer crystals. No longer sugar crystals. You can see. You can see the difference, okay? You can see that turn the oven, you know it's good. And then to that, to add more potatoes. Okay. A nice color. Let's let that cook down. I don't like my caramel too dark because I don't want it to have too much of a bitter taste. Okay, so I like this color, nice, nice and light brown. It can be a little darker, but I find it's okay. Okay, then I'll cook down. I'll give it some seasoning. 
so it's about really good and the taste to it towards the end. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, and then we're gonna just mix it up. A bit of water. And we're gonna cook. Then afterwards we just finish up with our herbs. To subscribe to like share and you know I'm gonna find everything at Lucian Akson okay if you attempt to tag me share the pictures let me know and if you want some um, more information or if you need help cooking something you can also message me that's also not a problem okay see you guys Enjoy.